my name is Dr. Clark Stanford. I'm the Dean of the College of Dentistry here at the University of Illinois Chicago. I want to welcome you to spending a few moments with us as we talk to you about many of the different safety features that we are doing here to protect your security and safety. Here at the University of Illinois at Chicago College of Dentistry, our first priority is safety and the well-being of our faculty, staff, students, and of course, all of our patients who come here for care. Now, dentistry in general for many years has been very sensitive to the issues in terms of infection control, patient safety, and being able to an analyze the outcomes of our patient care. We have always been focused on the highest level of care, the highest level of excellence in our education, and primarily the safety and security of everyone in the building, which includes the infection control process here at the college. For over 100 years, we've been providing excellent care and focused again on infection control processes. To do this takes many types of people, takes many types of controls. One of these things is policies. Those are called administrative controls. Policies often are the groundswell for being able to assure day-to-day -day high efficiency and security for you. We assure ourselves and others that we are following the standards of care that is set by the CDC and by OSHA and the American Dental Association to make sure that our standard precautions are in place. We teach our students and support that with compliance of our faculty and staff. We are focused on strict sterilization and disinfection processes here at the College of Dentistry and we abide by the CDC and the OSHA guidelines as well as the American Dental Association. The personal protective equipment that traditionally has been used and have been standard precautions in dentistry include wearing a mask, wearing a gown, wearing gloves for patient care, and eye protection. We have supported the standard protection for many years and we continue to do so. However, with the um, COVID-19 infection that has been global as well as in the United States, it soon became apparent that some of the aerosol procedures that we perform could be contributing to uh, problems with infection management for our staff, faculty, students, as well as our patients. So we here at the College of Dentistry um, upped our game, if we will. We enhanced our personal protective equipment by adding face shields as a universal precaution for all. And we also enhanced the quality and the type of face masks that we use. So using an N95 face mask has been shown to eliminate up to 95% of particulate matter, including viruses and, and other bacteria that could cause uh, problems for individuals who are engaged in patient care. Then we have environmental controls that we've done in the building here to assure a safe and clean environment. That includes high performance filtration of the air throughout the building, we work with our College of Engineering colleagues as well as our University of Illinois engineers to evaluate our heating, ventilation, air conditioning system or also known as our HVAC system. The good news for us is that we had completely renovated this system over a five-year period at a cost of over $20 million and it was just completed last summer. This has been very helpful for us. The new system that we have now allows much greater monitoring, it's more efficient and more effective, and it also provided the platform for us to add some enhancements to our current airflow. Uh, we have now altered our airflow so that we've increased the air exchanges within the college building itself, which has been demonstrated in hospital and other healthcare settings and operating rooms to be an effective means of limiting the spread of infection. We've also changed our airflow to completely 100% outdoor air that enters the building. So we're not recirculating air so that in case there was an individual who had been um, ill with the virus or a bacteria or any other type of infective agent, we know that that air is not being re recirculated within the building. The College of Engineering colleagues and our engineers also suggested the use of HEPA filtration. We had different options of doing it and we were happy to learn that with our new air handling units that had been installed, um, the HEPA filters could be added directly to those units and monitored for effectiveness. 
HEPA is a very effective uh, means of removing particulate matter up to 99.7%. So what this means to us is the air that's coming into the building has already, already been filtered quite significantly by the HEPA filtration. Then we turned to look at the clinic setting itself and we asked ourselves, what can we do to improve our air quality within the patient care setting? A decision was made to implement a new technology that had been introduced in the United States back in the 1970s and had been present and available in Europe prior to that. This technology is called needlepoint bipolar ionization. Where we're able to actually remove many of the different kinds of things that we often call uh, POVs or organic vapors that, in other words, what we used to call smells. And these technologies create a safe environment by killing more than 99% of viruses immediately as they may be released into the environment. Needlepoint bipolar ionization. And it was initially utilized in the United States in food processing areas in order to minimize the likelihood that uh, viruses, bacteria, and other particulate matter could negatively affect the processing of food. Since then, it has been introduced in many healthcare settings, including hospitals, and um, operating rooms and even in airports. It's, it's found even in the airport here in Chicago and large uh, organizations have even incorporated into their community areas in, in organizational setting and um, Google here in Chicago that's located in Chicago also uses bipolar ionization. So the purpose of this ionization is uh, to introduce um, particles into the air as the air is coming out of the um, air handling a uh, system within the clinic setting and the molecules actually get broken apart by these positive and negative charged particles and it's been demonstrated that these um, efforts can uh, surround and actually inactivate the uh, viruses. This is a process that can be continual and not only is it effective, it has been shown to destroy the SARS virus, some influenza viruses, and more recently it has been shown to uh, destroy or inactivate the coronavirus, which is exactly what our target was. Again, it's a continuous process. We put multiple uh, units within each of the clinic settings where the patient care is occurring. So as the air is coming into the atmosphere, um, these charged particles will, will remove or inactivate um, any of the uh, uh, bacteria or viruses that are present. We have a monitoring system. We meter, read the ionization levels in each of the clinic settings, and we do that on a rotating basis. And so far, um, in the two months that we've had the ionization system, we have far exceeded the minimal level that is required in order to demonstrate destruction of the virus. Um, the units were installed in each of our patient care settings. Over 55 units were put in individually. Um, it was a process that took approximately a week where we had to shut down the clinics in order to make sure that we had the bipolar ionization equipment added to each of the units within the clinic setting itself. What you're going to see today is some of the features that we're doing here at the College of Dentistry to make sure that you're safe as we've always been able to provide. You're going to be able to see the tour of sometimes the backstory, the basic areas you may not realize about the hard work and the dedicated individuals who are working day in and day out to make sure everything that is provided in terms of your dental care here at the college is provided in a safe and efficient manner. This includes many times people who you may not even realize as you pass them in the hall that in fact what they're doing on a day-to-day -day basis is entirely the reason that you are safe, you are happy, and you have great outcomes of care here at the College of Dentistry. The college has always been focused on having the safest environment within the clinic setting and where the patient will be receiving care. We use a lot of plastic barriers as we provide care so that those barriers can be removed so that the area can be disinfected properly. The students are informed and the staff support the activities involved with preparing a dental unit prior to a patient coming in. We have disinfectant solutions that actually have been modified. The new sprays that we have and the new germicidal agents again have been demonstrated to destroy viruses within three to five seconds. So students go through training processes. Um, they have to be observed on how they can provide the correct disinfection 
as they're preparing the unit prior to patient um, arrival and also post care so that the unit is completely cleaned and disinfected properly. So the College of Dentistry here at the University of Illinois Chicago continues to strive for the utmost in patient safety and we do this day in and day out and we do this for you. Thank you very much for being a patient, a student, a faculty or visitor here to the College of Dentistry.